Hey everybody. So, we're just going to cook a regular meal today, not a prep or a pantry. So I have people that think I only cook with powders and cans. But we actually cook from fresh more than not. So, that is some olive oil and butter. And here's a ribeye that I turned into two steaks because it was a one pound steak and neither one of us will eat a pound of meat. This is a combination of leftover makeover and, and not. <laughs> so I'm gonna add our steaks to this hot pan. I have some garlic I've sliced. I'm just going to throw that in there. I just seasoned these steaks with some Weber steak seasoning and onion powder. Get your cast iron good and hot. And we will cook these for five minutes on each side. And then we will let them rest. In this pan right here, and don't pay attention to my next haul items piling up around here. We have some leftover Italian style green beans. And I'm just going to warm those up. Here I have some sweet potato and trumpet mushrooms and I'm going to add the mushrooms to the skillet. the way I do the mushrooms whenever I make steak and trumpet mushrooms are my favorite. This is one sweet potato that I'm going to saute up in some butter and avocado oil for my husband. And this is some leftover homemade mashed potatoes, not instant, that I am going to make me a potato patty from. That burner. measuring cups. So yeah, you guys, we eat fresh foods. I just try to show you the uh, pantry meals so you know what to cook with these foods you're storing. Nobody's ever been really interested in the cooking videos. bit of butter with that avocado oil let it get hot and then we will add our sweet potato and cook them until tender and just salt and pepper them we're not fans of the um, sugar and stuff on the sweet potatoes we like them better with Salt, pepper, butter, and these mushrooms absorb the flavor of the steaks and they just delicious. And those will be turned over in about one minute. Wait. 
this pan to heat up. Got this pan going with the green beans. It is so cold here. It snowed yesterday after storms on New Year's Eve. Did y'all get any rain and stuff on New Year's Eve? Didn't stop people from shooting off firecrackers and guns. And then the next day, it was freezing and snowing. Crazy. My friend in Tennessee is getting it today. Got the same thing. If you've never tried trumpet mushrooms, try them. They're so good, especially on the grill. Set the timer. I flipped those 13 seconds early. It just seemed ready. Just feeling ready. See, when they get like that, that's delicious. And they shrink up a lot, so they make room for themselves at a point. But after I remove the steaks, I'll zhuzh them around real good with the garlic. They'll be delicious, I promise. Now we are going to add our sweet potato. Preferably in the pan. Just stir those about until they're tender. <laughs> Excuse me. Some pepper. And that is allergy asthma, not <coughs> the other thing. If you've been around for a while, I have bad allergies and some asthma. Which is from the allergies. If the allergies are okay, it's okay. I'm trying not to cough. Just stir those around. been working on candy for my mom, her care package, or her and my brother. So I've got candy stuff here, and then I've got grocery haul stuff stacking up as things come in. So I'm just going to let all of this go when this is done in... One minute and 20 seconds, I will take it out of the pan and let them rest. Green beans are going. So I'll be back as we move along. So here are the steaks. Took them off. I'm just going to set them aside, put, pop them in the oven, just let them sit there.
These are our mushrooms. Shoot them around a little bit. And those are pretty much done. They look delicious. There's those. Then I'm going to rinse this with some hot water and do my potato in it. It's a very hot pan. Deglaze that. If you do that when it's hot, you'll pretty much get everything off the bottom of your pan. That's with your stainless steel as well. While your pan is hot, add some water to it. And you'll get all that stuff off the bottom. Green beans are hot, so I will put them on low. Stir our sweet potatoes. They look just about done. The only thing we're having different is I'm having white potato because we have these leftovers. And he's having sweet potato because it's not white potato. out with a paper towel. Turn those potatoes down. They're about done. going to make my potato patty and then add it to hot oil here. Okay, here's my potato patty. I'm going to add it to this smoking hot skillet. And I have videos on my channel of several potato patty recipes. One of my favorite ways to use up leftover mashed potatoes. So I'm going to make my husband's plate and then I'll be back. So there's his plate. So leftover, fresh, fresh, fresh. So yeah, we eat fresh. Very simple dinner. And there's my potato patty. So I'll have a potato patty there instead of the sweet potato. So there you go guys. Partial leftover makeover. Fresh food. So anyways, I'll see you all soon. And I just thought I would share our Sunday dinner with you. Stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.